Well, I hope everyone's doing lovely today. Today is the day I'm just going to be pretty much editing videos. I've still got to edit the uh, Doctor Who for tomorrow. Um, I've got three anime episodes I'm going to be react that I'm going to be uh, editing. Just kind of uh, this this month has been weird. Like it's just been weird content wise, not only on here but for my Patreon members as well. Um, just the computer going down and taking a lot of stuff with it. And then trying to re-record stuff and have to do more views and reactions it feels like this month. And then having to edit some of this stuff, especially if I've already seen it 400 times it feels like. That's just, as it stands whenever you edit something, especially if it's something that goes on Patreon first. They get the full, mostly unedited. I barely take it, just, just some of the dead space spots and sometimes I don't even do that. Sometimes I'll eat in the middle of it and they get the conversation if I decide to uh, talk. Or I'll just take that out me eating part. But outside of that, like I'll, I'll watch basically the full episode again, so I, you know, or at least a good portion of it again to take and see if there's any spots that I could really cut some dead air because I sit there for too long or I have to get up and go do something real quick here around the house. And then I do a final edit, which is put on YouTube. And there's between this steel game, not so much. But if I do like if y'all get an episode of Peaky Blinders, which y'all are like three episodes, four episodes behind at this point on that or luther or some or another show like that crazy thing is is like not only do they get it but then y'all get it so i've seen most everything three times and some of these shows that i took and lost and i've had to take and do reviews on um after the computers went down i saw some of them five and six times <laughs> it was this has just been one of those crazy months um today i'm doing editing um right now I've got America Reacts D-Day from the German perspective uploading an hour and 43 minutes left. So I might actually take and either cancel that or try to pause the upload long enough for me to actually upload this video. So depending on which one you see, or you might just get this one tomorrow before uh, Doctor Who. So whichever way you get it, that's cool. Tomorrow I'm going to be recording, try to take and record two weeks worth of stuff for the channel. Which outside of Doctor Who and episodes for still game i've been doing a lot of the shorter reactions for the channel number one it, it gives me more time to i said it gives me more time to do stuff what it is, is my add kicking in when i take an open up youtube and then seeing some of the stuff that i normally watch anyways but my plan is to have tomorrow record two weeks worth of and it's gonna be the smaller stuff i'm gonna wind up recording pretty much doing spot recordings for uh next week's episode uh, or the next two weeks episodes worth of Doctor Who that will be on this on the channel uh, and still game. Outside of that, um, the reason why I'm doing that, number one, because I get those squirrel moments, is also due to the fact that I'm so far behind on my Patreon. I need to take and record a lot of, like, I, I plan on spending two weeks just recording specifically for the most part for my Patreon and also throwing in making sure I record for not only my music reaction channel so that way I can get that jump started um, and I can start doing stuff because I've, cr I've created a, a music only level on my Patreon for that and I plan on doing full albums for that but also for the simple fact of I like reacting to music and as much as I love reacting to stuff on this channel sometimes I feel constrained because it seems like I don't have time for anything else. Uh, so those two weeks, I, I'm hoping to get through a couple of these, a couple of shows that I'm reacting to, because uh, I'll be honest with you, I feel like I've over-promised and under-delivered so far, and I want to kind of, there's some shows that, like Dairy Girls, I'm on season three on that, so once that's done, I don't think I'm going to replace it with anything for a bit. Same thing with Faulty Towers, um, we've just started Father Ted over there, not going to put that on the, on the channel, at least not for a while, that's going to just sit. Um, just due to the fact of I want them to have exclusivity on that for a while. Porridge, I'll be able to take and finish Porridge. And I'm going to wait on starting the follow-up to it. But I can also finish most of the, the stuff that's 30 minutes long. Most of that, I should be able to take and finish it up and start one show, e a new show each for the levels that I've got there. But it gives me time also, most importantly, so I don't know how much some of this y'all will see and some of this how much the uh, Patreon will see. Anyways... Outside of that, between wanting to take and get stuff started on the music reaction channel and getting consistent on there, because I feel like I'm just so swamped uh, with this. 
with everything I try to do for this channel. But I also want to take and be able to store storyboard and put original content out on this channel to go with some of the reaction stuff. So that'll give me time. It'll allow me to, once I get stuff caught up there, it'll also allow me to take and work on stuff for this channel. But I'm also starting a Eclectic Beard anime reaction channel because I love anime. I just don't ever take the time to react to it because I'm either recording, editing, or dealing with kids and housework. And it just... I love love watching some anime. I, me and my daughter set up one night. My wife and the youngest were asleep, and me and the my, tw my now twelve year old. We I was like, hey, here's an anime. Let's watch this. We'll watch a few episodes, and then you know we can go to bed and we can you know pick it up tomorrow. We watched the whole entire it, 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 cabin area of the Iron Fortress. I highly recommend it. We took and spent the whole. I think there's like seven episodes. We watched the whole thing in one sitting. <laughs> and then like three days later we watched the movie off of it but between that and stuff like my hero academia and um i've seen the first season of jujutsu uh kaisen love that show east uh eden of the east one of the best anything i've ever seen and i'll just love watching anime so i'm all that's the other thing i've been taking catch up and possibly start season two of uh reactions for vinland saga for this channel because i plan on keeping that on this channel I've already got three episodes of a show like Chorus Recoil for Eclectic Beard uh, anime reactions, and I'm going to take and do at least two others. So that way I've only got three shows going at any one time on that channel. I've got a certain amount of stuff that I'm going to take and have on Patreon for the different levels, um, and I'll be able to take and do my music reactions, and that way I'm not so swamped. And I'll be able to take and supplement everything with either original content or content that's like some of the smaller clip stuff. Outside of that, what, I've mentioned a couple of times my ADD brain. <laughs> I go to start recording and I just pull up my YouTube. I've got quite a few channels that are reaction channels that aren't American reacts. Like I love Squirrel. I love Innocent American. Um, I, I love the fellas that uh, Embrace the Suck. I love Aries and the Nation. What he's doing on his channel with his uh, doing the music reactions to Nightwish and Angelina Jordan and stuff like that. And then Squirrel also with his The Other Side of Squirrel. Outside of them... I've got people that I was influenced by, but y'all already I've already introduced them on the channel. I've already took and uh, talked about some of them. But there's some folks that take and look at um, that are from other countries that look at American stuff that I really, really either enjoy their perspective or I enjoy just their personality wise. So, and even outside of reactions, there's some other stuff that I take and watch as well. And so, if you don't, if you get, you know, it, you wonder some days why maybe either it's late. The video is either later than normal, which I know I've been uploading about 11, between 11 and 2 on the channel lately. It's just everything seems to work better when I do that because, well, I'm not exactly young and I'm not calling the folks that watch this channel old, but they're not, you know, a younger demographic. That's for sure. <laughs> so we all, we all have certain times we watch stuff, right? A lot of times it's after, after work or whatever. I'm going to show you all some channels that I enjoy watching that uh, maybe either are in your country or might interest you some of the subject matter might interest you as well so first off we're taking i don't know how you say this fellow's stuff it's l3wg reacts i don't i don't know how that's supposed to be run together but this cat he's younger uh, i'm sure he's got a much younger demographic as well kind of reminds me age-wise of um, jt reacts but really enthusiastic and also just seems to be really interested actually interested in in the stuff that he's watching so i really enjoy watching this cat um, and i'll have links to everybody that i take and put on here i'll have links to everybody in the uh, description and i'll take and go through on a pinned comment uh, post your links there too i really enjoy watching him i haven't been able to catch none of his twitch uh live streams or anything like that i don't really use twitter or instagram all that much there's a couple people that reach out to me via instagram that i'll check every so often um I really don't ever check Instagram, so I haven't checked his stuff out on Instagram. Outside of him, you got uh, your New Zealand family, and they're apparently, you know, of course, a family from New Zealand. Really lovely. You got the mom, the dad, you've got two kids, a uh, boy and a girl. Uh, really, and it's cool because the little girl, uh, she cooks. The family does as well, but the little girl, uh, there's a segment of uh, videos where she cooks the most popular food from each state really really enjoy their videos just seem like really nice folks really down to earth and everything like that and they just really really just enjoy watching their content like i said there'll be links for everybody in the comments got the beasleys 
Now, normally it's the husband and wife. This video that I pulled up for some reason has the wife and the mom. Really enjoy their personality. I really enjoy their, not only their the way they talk back and forth about the differences of what they see when they look at the videos, especially for American stuff, but also uh, their correlations that they do with stuff as well. Really, really nice folks. Really seem down to earth. I believe they live in, what, on the Jersey Islands? So really really nice content not mistaken she's she's soon to have a baby so you know that i guess at some point in time they'll be uh having a bundle of joy got recky and then also uh recky reacts but also uh he's got there's recky and carol i like watching him because not only does he do reactions him and his wife have a channel as well but he also does live streams for gaming and stuff like that he's really really good with answering folks and talking back and forth and things of uh things like that really enjoy watching him because not yeah sweden in sweden so their take on some stuff is kind of unique and his his perspective on stuff i like seeing and some of his reactions is really cool to see too i really like this this channel we've got live luca and i'll be honest with you before i started doing american reacts i'd see videos of brit reacts brit reacting to and uh so his, his videos are actually one of the reasons why I even took and searched the term in the first place, American Reacts. He's got some really good stuff. And he's covered, God, just about everything to do with America, I think, at this point. Between natural disasters and different cultural stuff, state-by-state -state stuff, accidents. Like, he's got a plethora of stuff about the U.S. on his channel that he's reacted to. Drivers, everything like that, so... Really enjoy watching this cat. He's been at it for a hot minute. I mean, he's at 162,000 subscribers, and rightfully so. Now, outside of that, let's see, we've also got Mr. H and Friends, and he's based out of the UK. He's based, I believe, him and his wife and their daughter are in England. And not only do they try different foods, uh, different American foods and things of that nature, they'll take and uh, they, they've reacted to different stuff like that, especially like Jolly, which that's another channel. They've done that. They've visited the U.S. and they, they've, you know, I really just enjoy both of their personalities. Their cooking videos, in my opinion, are really, really fun to watch, especially with the daughter, man. Their daughter is cute as a button, and the fact that she reaches for every little bit of food every time to eat something. But they, seeing their take on stuff as far as whether it be the food or some cultural things and uh, here in the U.S., uh, while also taking and talking about their their own life and stuff like that like they tried smoking meats and stuff really really enjoy their stuff now outside of them taking two lot smaller channels one is um american and one i believe is he's in the uk b sparks gaming he's one of the last he his stream last week is one of the last streams i've actually hopped up on for any reason whatsoever and i can't even remember when i started following this cat do not remember whatsoever but he does he does uh, let's play uh videos he also does gaming streams he's a real chill dude really nice fella he's a service member really enjoy his stuff i actually took and give some advice as as far as just general youtube advice for uh channels specifically you know they're in the gaming sphere or whatever that's one of the hardest niches to get into and actually grow and get any kind of footing because it's so saturated like reactions a lot of folks think reactions are getting saturated i think niche specifically depending on the type of reaction like I, I believe american reacts we've still got room to grow but it is starting to get there's a whole lot more options of people to watch and it's really cool to see so some of us have had to kind of like i've started integrating more tv shows um king boomer does a lot of tv shows um, which congrats to the king and, and queen boomer for for the childbirth um, same thing with the innocent americans man they that it's funny both of them all they all just had kids and it's really cool to take and to to see their growth not only on youtube but also personally in their personal lives i, I really love that love both of them both both all of them, I should say. I say both. All of them. Love, love all of them to death. Really good people. Gaming specifically, and it doesn't matter. You have to really, really find ways to differentiate yourself. So I was trying to take and give some advice on number one. You know, some keys, just overall keys to taking and getting growth on YouTube. But also trying to take and throw out some ideas like, hey, maybe, you know, instead of taking and just doing, you know, let's plays, maybe try to take and do narrative driven stuff. Like you take and script out a narrative for something 
or you know maybe try this approach over here and just you know any little bit i could because he's got 1.2 thousand i think the biggest one i've seen that was talking within there had like uh eight or nine thousand and i don't i don't i've got a gaming channel but i, I don't post anything to it like that I, I game completely off screen and everything like that for the most part every so often i'll still take in here and there take into a gaming stream like i did when the computer was down but i enjoy seeing channels like b sparks growing because it shows health within a community but also it's nice to see people succeed it's nice to see people actually succeed when they're putting in effort they're putting in what especially if they've got a nine to five job and they're having to take and juggle family life along with trying to get stuff started on youtube i enjoy the heck out of seeing people succeed so any way that even if it's just a little bit of advice or encouragement and stuff like that, I, I love when I have the chance being able to do something like that. And I thoroughly enjoy talking with this cat, and I thoroughly enjoy any time I'm able to uh, catch some of his videos. Um, just really nice dude. Um, and then the other, and I've talked to him. He's in, if I'm not mistaken, he's in my Discord, Rusty Dog. Um, really, really cool stuff. Uh, he does a lot of streams. Um, this is Starfield. Took and uh, played... Elite Dangerous, and this has been, oh God, it's been over a year ago at this point. Took and played, uh, was playing Elite Dangerous and streaming it, and uh, I can't remember if he's got a squadron. I know he's pretty deep into Elite Dangerous, but tried taking and linking up with him, taking and playing, playing uh, with him, and I just haven't been able to since. But Rusty Dog, really, again, really nice dude. He's over in the UK. Just these are some of the channels that I watch whenever I'm not taking and recording stuff myself. And to be honest with you, I'd love if anybody that watches these videos, if there's two or three does two or three of these that look like to interest you, please go check them out and show them some love because we all start somewhere, and I don't care what point of their journey they're in. Um, it's always nice to it, it, it's always nice to see people grow, regardless. And these are folks that I think if I enjoy, for the most part, I think y'all will enjoy too. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't say nothing. I've got some other stuff that I do uh, that I do take and watch as well outside of all of these, and um, just making a list of everybody that I'll wind up watching uh, throughout a week or something like that, and regularly go back to. Sometimes it's a little bit, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to remember some of these cats. Just being honest, but the ones that stick out the most, I figured I'd take and show y'all, and you know maybe they maybe they, their family uh, their channels get a little bit of love too because i i think everybody that um i've pointed out definitely they deserve watch time they deserve you know i say deserve if somebody goes to their channels and watches them definitely well worth the time that's taken to do so i truly believe that all of these cats are really interesting they're really really nice folks it's funny because i'm gonna be honest with you i'm uh I'm at the point with the reacting that the stuff that I'm reacting to, I'm circling back on stuff, right? Um, one of the things that I, I, I try not to do on the channel is I try not to take and cover a subject like too many times. The great thing about stuff like World War II or World War I or wars and things like that is there's a lot of different, you got individual things that you can get into, individual aspects, and you've got, um, you know, country by country aspects you've got different like you've got a lot of piecemeal things that you can get into that doesn't cover the broad narrative or everything but you can really break stuff down comedy there's a ton of different comedians there's a ton of different things like that i've reacted to quite a few of the um like the, the chants and stuff like that the football chants or the football uh the stuff that uh people say at uh football matches over there um in europe and in england and I'll be honest with you, I think after the fourth one, we had heard every one of them at that point. So no need to go back over that stuff. And I, I think I've watched two of the British TikToks, and I don't do stuff. My pro, And it's one of the reasons why I don't take and do the, you know, d the dumbest things Americans have said and stuff like that. I haven't looked for any more of those in a long while is because you get repeat stuff. And it's kind of aggravating as a reactor to take and see stuff. That's it because after the second or third video where you take and get multiples of somebody saying you know it, you're getting that that same person with that same TikTok that was in the previous two videos 
you know it's like all right these they're getting kind of number one they're getting kind of lazy with the compilation but number two this is extra stuff that has to be cut outside of dead air um, or any anything that might have popped up during the reaction process itself so there's a lot of things now that i don't even try to touch or go back over and it probably hurts the channel a little bit but i'll take that hit because i'd rather find either stuff that i find interesting or maybe find comedians that have been recommended to me and take a react to their stuff or you know figure hey what about this country here and just take a look at a at, you know a video or two about about a country that we ha that I haven't looked at up to this point it's the reason why with the Eiffel Tower I've got some there's some German stuff I want to take a look at going forward there's some stuff from other countries I want to look at going forward so doing these doing these reactions it it, it after what you have to take and either do a little bit of a look around and see what other folks are looking at or you have to really have interest in in learning about other countries so that way you're not number one ignorant of the world still and number two in case you ever have the chance to go to these places you, you don't look like a complete tourist <laughs> you know you don't you know you don't come across as you know overly stupid if you talk to people from you know that are in these countries yes yeah, so that's that's where things are sitting going forward for those of you on patreon whether or not this part of the video this this piece makes it into the video outside of patreon is a different story but y'all will be caught up in the next week or so on stuff that i feel like i've kind of slacked on as far as new episodes for stuff and i'll have stuff for I'll have banked and <laughs> scheduled out so y'all y'all get consistent videos for the next couple weeks. But next week is definitely going to be straight up just recording, mostly for Patreon. But also there's going to be stuff for new channels, or not new channels, but a channel that I've had for a while and a channel that I want to take and get off the ground, as well as trying to find, make sure I have not try to find, but make sure I have Doctor Who not only recorded but ready to be edited for this channel same thing with steel game and on top of that make sure that i have consistent content while also having the ability to in the future take and have some wiggle room as far as the content is concerned whether it be what i want to look at as far as countries are concerned or what i want to take and uh maybe come up with maybe i see as recurring questions um in the comments section of the videos so that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Hopefully this doesn't come across as rambly as it feels. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.